Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Way in Real Life. We're here uh, with Nicole, hello, Hi. and Daphne, Hi. hello, Hi. and we're going to talk about their new um, app, is that correct? And it's called Yuru. 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 <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk story. Okay, so what is Yuru? What? Yuru <laughs> is um, a modern day spin on Dear Abby, so it's a way to crowdsource for advice and you can ask either openly or anonymously. And you can share advice either openly or anonymously. Oh, nice. Well, Dear Abby, you know, millions um, read Dear Abby, wrote to Dear Abby, and and I was thinking that the the awesome thing about it was was the anonymity that you could write about things that were deeply personal, embarrassing, sometimes scary, definitely unfamiliar, um, and you could feel safe in that. My personal situation, having advice from one person who may have not have been in my shoes, you know. I, I thought it would be so much better to kind of be able to cast a wider net and, and put put your issue out there to people that may have actually been in your situation. Yeah. It's not always something that you necessarily need to ask anonymously. Sometimes you can ask something openly. So with Yuru, uh, it puts you in control and you, you have the option to to seek advice and share advice the way that you want to. Okay, so how, how does it work? It's like. I would post something and be like, hey, um, my boyfriend was cheating on me, what should I do? Or exactly. So this is an example of, we've just gone over to one of our more kind of popular posts. Um, what's the best way to get the attention of a cute neighbor whom you've got your eye on and know is single? Uh, you can view all of the comments. Um, you can comment yourself down here and you can submit it either anonymously or openly. Uh, you can see what everybody has to say and the really nice feature of um, Yuru is that you can filter the responses. So say you only want to know what guys would answer because you're a girl and you want to know how to impress them. You can click on that and it will filter all of the responses. So the different filters that we have, you can filter by gender, so male, female, the most popular comments, so the ones that got the most likes. Um, you can see what only your friends have to say, so the people you're following. Um, this is location-based, so say you, know, you want to know uh, where to take your first date and you happen to be living in Hawaii, you, can, you don't necessarily want to see what people in Alaska have to say, so you can filter by location. You can do by age range. Um, and uh, whether you're a parent or whether you're single. Hmm. So these are just various ways. So right now I want to now see what all of the girls have to say. Um, and the other nice thing is that even if you're posting uh, anonymously, it's still color coded for gender. So um, if you're seeing everybody, you can still know um, whether the anonymous advice that you're getting is coming from a guy or a girl, which definitely for things like dating and stuff like that, it's it's very helpful to know. Look, you have very limited capabilities in what you can share on Facebook. Like everybody, your your mom and your aunties are on Facebook. You know, my students are on, on Facebook sometimes. And so, you know, there, there are things that you definitely would not necessarily put out there. For example, I suspect my husband might be cheating or something like that. And so um, Yuru gives you that ability and also where Facebook and other social networks connect you just to your limited network of people that you know, Yuru um, allows you to tap into an entire community so you can also get unbiased feedback from people that you don't know and you have a much better chance of reaching people that may have been in your situation that are really the ones that can kind of give you advice for that specifically. How did you come up with the name Yuru? What the idea is that you are the guru. So if you've been in a situation uh, before, you've had experience and therefore can be a guru. So now you, the community, are the guru. That's a cute, yeah. <laughs> cute concept. <laughs> you can. Um, as far as online trolls, would, how do you control that? So, well, there's a couple of ways that users can actually sort of self-police. So if somebody posts a comment that they find offensive, um, there's a little report button. And so after a comment is reported more than, you know, just three times, um, it, it gets automatically pulled from the platform and then we would audit, like have a, a review process that we look to make sure um, and it wouldn't be reinstated if it's offensive. Um, we have a zero tolerance policy for any kind of harmful um, defamatory behavior uh, because trolling is just absolutely not welcome on the platform. So we have no problem <laughs> kicking out people who are not playing nice. 
Um, they, can, they can block a user too. Yeah. So um, sometimes, even if something is not necessarily harmful, but if mm. something is just boring. people find it boring <laughs> or they just don't want to read those particular posts about that, you can block any user. You can always reinstate them you know, later mm. through your settings. Oh, so since we have this zero tolerance policy, if somebody says something that's in any way hateful or harmful and it gets removed from the feed, they get um, a timeout. So for three days, they're not allowed to come back on the app, but we believe in second chances, so we'll let them back on. And like any little kid, we're like, all right, you hopefully <laughs> have learned your lesson, and so they can come back on, and if, um, if they've done it again, then they're, like Nicole said, um, permanently removed. Nice. So we take it very seriously, and it's one of the things we set up from the beginning. And one of the reasons, too, that we have Facebook login is to really authenticate that users are who they say they are. Oh, okay. So it's easier that way. It's, that way people can't just kind of create a second post if they've been removed from the platform. Um, and this is going to launch when? We just launched in November okay. um, in our public beta. So now everybody can download it on their iPhone or Android and start it's using free. it. And it's free. It's free. Okay. <laughs> and we're, we're actually launching the um, web version because when we did early testing, uh, a lot of our users said that they really wanted to have it not just on mobile, but available on their desktop. I guess people are at work and they can't be playing on their phones, so they want to be... I mean, you know, Facebook Facebook is on both web and, and mobile, because sometimes you definitely need advice on the go, which is why we designed it. Um, you know, if you're in a store and you're like, do I really buy these pink pants? Yes mm -hmm. or no? Um, and, and that's another thing um, that we, we didn't mention yet, is that we've got these four quick polling categories that allow you to get instant feedback very quickly because you know sometimes people are just in a rush and they need advice like right away in the form of kind of a yes no or this or that answer um, and also it's it's pretty awesome to be able to sort of just like take the snapshot of the you know collective thought wisdom. the collective wisdom of the community so the categories that um, we created are should I uh, this or that, which allows you to upload two pictures. So you can ask about fashion or about travel or, you know, cook food, whatever, anything, yeah. whatever. Um, have you ever is one that is very fun. <laughs> and uh, people always talk about how it's kind of like the drink drinking game, never have, have I ever. But there's exactly like, you know, um, how you mentioned before, have you ever been cheated on or have you ever snooped through your significant other's phone? Mm -hmm. Which was a, a question that was actually asked on the app. And, um, and so you can kind of see what other people are saying. And that also allows you to not necessarily feel like, you know, mm -hmm. am I alone in thinking this? Or am I a freak? Or, um, mm -hmm. um, and our fourth category is come clean. And that's a, like a mini anonymous confessional. So, and you can share all kinds of information and people can weigh, can in. <laughs> weigh in and say like, holy cow, or, or been there, done that, or yeah. boring. Like, that's not that major. Yeah. You know, so you can kind of gauge that way, too. Nice. So it's very fun. That's the thing about Yuru. Is it's, um, it's an incredibly entertaining mm -hmm. experience. Just scrolling through the feed. You, I mean, I, I laugh out loud actually. regularly. Like, it's, it's very funny. <laughs> oh, fun. And then you guys are having um, a grand launch um, sometime well, in... Beginning January. of February. Okay. Yes, so it will be pop. We'll make it, yeah, is there yeah. an age restriction on using your like yes kids so or? um it's 13 and over and anybody under the age of 18 needs to get their parents permission in order to use your oh, okay um so when i ask advice or give advice mm -hmm. is there an option to push it out to social media oh so. yeah absolutely so you can share any post even the ones that aren't your own if you think it's really funny you can share it on your facebook page on Twitter, um, via text message, or an email. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. And for people who want to um, follow you guys on social media, you have a Facebook page? We do, we are facebook.com slash askguru. Ask and same for Twitter, our Twitter handle is askguru. We're also on Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, so come find us. And, <laughs> and askguru the whole... Um, on yeah. Instagram, it's guru. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. okay, well thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.